Hello everyone, how are we doing today? I'm here with another application review for you guys here. And right off the bat, I'm going to tell you this should be a pretty solid review. I have quite a few good applications for you guys here. All of them are going to be paid, so if you're looking for a free one, eh, jailbreaker, skip this video. Uh, but anyway, I do have four apps to be reviewing for you guys, um, one of which was just released like yesterday, two days ago, something like that, and then a couple which are a little bit older. And the first one, which I am extremely excited to share with you guys that I just purchased, is going to be called snood and this is a very classic computer game I'm sure most of you have heard of it uh, but if not it is a huge computer game I have loved it for years upon years and finally it has been ported to the iPod touch and what this is is it's a puzzler game where you shoot different snoods at other snoods to create a chain reaction that will explode all snoods hanging from below and all snoods included with the reaction. Um, so it does have a little bit of a sloppy control panel with the main menu and stuff. There's a lot of different tabs and some of them lead to places you don't even want to go to. But anyway, this is our main menu and we have play, two player manager, rankings and achievements, high scores, and a menu that will come up, if I guess, if I don't touch the screen. Um, ooh, my snood makes little emotions. I've never seen that before. Uh, but anyway, send more EA games. So, play will pretty much bring you into single player game with all the four different uh, types of gameplay you can use. Two player manager, rankings and achievements, and high scores all need to be actually docked with your Facebook account. So, if you want to be using that, then you're going to have a Facebook account and you're going to have to log in and sync it with that. Um, down here in the bottom, you have a question mark, which will do just a few things, really kind of show you the developer, and that's really it. Uh, go back to the main menu, and then here's your little Facebook icon in the right bottom corner. But we will go into play, and I will show you a couple of the uh, single player uh, game modes. And we have uh, the three different single player elements right here one player. Live is where you'll play Wi-Fi against someone online, and then challenge an opponent to play later. And I believe both the online multiplayers are going to need to be used with Wi-Fi through uh, Facebook, so that kind of sucks as well. Uh, so when you do this, if you don't have a Facebook account, you're probably going to want to make one, uh, because if not, you're going to be stuck and stranded with single player. And down at the bottom, you do have instructions, which are kind of iffy how they're laid out, but they do explain it pretty well. And we're going to go into one player, and I'll just show you one gameplay, really. I will show you story mode. So story mode is going to start you from point A, level 1, and you're going to go through the entire story until you have to defeat these evil bone skeleton kind of creatures. Uh, but this is the entire screen you're ever going to be seeing. You're going to be seeing, and this guy comes up in story mode to explain you how to play. Uh, but this is your entire screen that you're going to be seeing uh, throughout any game mode you really play. It might be differently organized depending on if you do puzzle or something like that, but just to explain it, up at the top is our puzzle that we have to destroy of snoods. Down at the bottom is the snood that will be shot out next. The middle one is the snood locked and loaded in the cannon that I will be shooting when I tap. And then right here at the bottom you'll see this slowly start to fill up. And when this fills up, then these, sh these snoods will shift down one letter block down. Uh, towards the screen, towards the bottom, and when they reach the bottom, you lose. So your object is to delete or pretty much just kill every snoot at the top of the screen. So your controls are rather nice. They're a little bit hard to get used to, kind of shaky at first, but what you do is by simply just dragging anywhere on the screen, you will be able to drag the cannon blaster, and then by tapping, you'll shoot. So you want to get the uh, snoods to be locked and loaded or pretty much aligned next to each other because once you get a combo of three or more in any type of shape, way, direction at all, then they will vanish just as you see right there. And any snoods hanging below them will actually vanish as well. But here's a special snood coming up right now. This is a bomb, so wherever I hit this, slowly start to explode and everything will fall down. And there's a little music that is familiar to all these snood fans from the computer series. Here's another special block. Pretty rare, actually, that I've seen so many special blocks already. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much the entire review that I'm going to be showing you. I will most likely, actually, I will be doing a, an individual in-depth review of this because I already see that we've hit four minutes on just Snood for this review. Uh, this is going to be called Snood, a $2.99 application that I definitely recommend the hell out of. Uh, I will be doing an in-depth review in a later time for you guys, but that is going to be called Snood. Alright, and this next one I have for you is a blast as well called Doodle Flight. And I got this one sent to me, and I saw it at first, and I was like, man, I don't even want to read this, this looks like junk. But the presentation goes so well with the rest of the application, the gameplay, the story, 
They did such a fantastic job on this, surprisingly. I was completely just dumbfounded. I thought this was going to be just a little crummy, uh, self-individual made application, but I don't know who made it. They did a fantastic job on it. I definitely recommend to go check it out. And it is going to be a shooter. And what you do is when you start up, you have kind of a sloppy main menu. You're really not going to be used to it by this point. But what it is, is kind of a uh, paper shooter where you get to draw your own spaceships if you want to. This one I actually created right there in the middle. These two are already pre-designed for you. And you can actually com completely customize your own ships. So these are all the color palettes that we can use. And what you do is you just simply drag. And we'll just make a smiley face, I guess, or something like that. Brush sizes, colors, undos, redos, and erasers. It's got a lot of stuff, and you just make your own ship. Go back, and there's our ship. We're gonna play as him, I guess. So we'll quit, go to start a game. We will do our guy that we just made, and on easy level. And there's three different types of uh, settings that you can use actually for um, up for um, steering your aircraft. You can do touch. You can do tilt, which I'm using right now, or you can do the combination of both, which touch and tilt. I definitely recommend to do uh, tilt only. It makes it a lot of fun, actually, and the accelerometer will actually sync with the degree that you have it on set on a plane. Uh, so if you want to be playing from a certain angle, like you're laying down in your bed or you're standing up and looking down at your iPod or iPhone, uh, that's definitely a great feature about it, so you don't have to play from one preset level. Uh, so this is pretty much the entire application. You can go forward and backwards, as you see right here, depending on how you tilt your actual device, and you'll encounter a a lot of different bosses, um, a lot of different enemies even, and you can gain a lot of power-ups. So every single time that I kill something, uh, you do have a randomized chance of gaining a power-up, which will just float on the screen for a while until you zoom out there to collect it. And I'm trying to find one right now. Uh, but the power-ups definitely keep this game pretty fresh. It's definitely fun to try and get new ones because I'm still experiencing a lot of power-ups that I've never seen before, and I've been playing this application for probably about a week now. Um, aside from that, you see a lot of the same enemies, but when you meet the new bosses, uh, um, new sounds will actually happen and it kind of makes it feel like it's a little bit more of an individual gameplay uh, every time. As you hear in the background, you have some pretty uh, awesome um, music as well, that's what I'm trying to say as you hear in the background. Um, it seems almost like renaissance music, which you don't think would go with like a paper drawn shooter, but it does. I don't know how they did it. It sounds great with it. Uh, definitely keeps the whole original feeling of the application going. And I definitely recommend to go check this out. This is going to be called Doodle Flight, one of the only customizable shooters that I've actually seen in the App Store. And my next app for you, I actually have about 10 promo codes to be giving away, so that'll be in one of my soon-to-come videos. And this is going to be called Jailbreaker Keys. It's Jailbreaker hyphen keys. And I have like 10 promo codes to be giving out for it, and I was like, ah, oh, I got all these promo codes. This is probably going to be a crummy app as well, because they're going to just give me a bunch to just give away and get their word out there and their name out there, but... This app, I've been playing, I don't know why, I play it all the time. It's so addicting, it's a great application, uh, but it's so simplistic. That's the best thing about it, is that it's pick up and play anywhere at any time you'd like to. So what you do is pretty much you're doing a matchmaking type of process, and you have easy, medium, and hard, and that's really it. You don't have any global um, online leaderboards. You do have a local, which will be just on your device, actually, but that's kind of a downside on the application. But other than that, it's only 99 cents, I believe, and I definitely recommend to go check it out. I'll show you some gameplay. So what we have here, oh, cool thing about it, yeah, uh, you do have preset and pre-installed music with the application, or you can use your iTunes library, so if you do choose that, you can actually listen to your own music stored on the device while playing. We'll just do the one that's preset, and I'll show you. So up at the top, we actually have a key right there, and I have to match that key um, down to the key blades at the end. And good, I already lost, I don't know what I did wrong there, my bad. Try it again. Alright, so now I'm looking for a circular key. Oh, I need to play it more vertically, that's what was wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, square end. Not that one, though. This one. A little bit more of a semicircle. And it seems really easy at first, but as you see, they start to move. Your time does start to go down, as you see right here in the left top corner. The colors of the keys will actually change to make it more confusing on you. And you will have to turn your device as well, which, hey, couldn't be more annoying. But it's a great aspect of the game. It keeps it fresh, keeps it fun, and fun going the entire time. Uh, so you're not just going to be sitting there having a bored little gameplay. Uh, it will be changing every single time, and it is always going to be a different play whenever you play easy, medium, or hard. So we're looking for this, and I gotta shift again, 
right there. So that's pretty much all I'm really going to show you for this application. I did just notice that my uh, glare from my um, light above me is not really helping because I keep having to shift and I'm not really noticing it, but that's pretty much the entire application. What you do is you have easy, medium, and hard, and whenever you play, you have 25 levels to actually complete for that. You'll get to the end, enter in your high score, and that's pretty much the entire app. So that's all I'm going to be showing you for this. I do have 10 promo codes I will be giving away in a soon-to-come video. Uh, that's all I have. Jailbreaker Keys, I definitely recommend to go check it out. If you want to wait though a little bit, I will be giving away those 10 promo codes soon, so stay tuned and subscribe for that. Alrighty, and my final application for you guys in this review is going to be called Beat Rider, and I did review the light version of Beat Rider a while back, and what you can do in Beat Rider Pro, the uh, paid one, is you can upload, I believe, 30 of your songs to their online database, and you will be able to play in a Guitar Hero type of environment to the beats of your own songs. Any song you want to, it completely customizes the beats every time. Um, so, any song, it doesn't matter if it's one on iTunes, it doesn't matter if you recorded it with you and your friends, the the song will get beats made by Beat Rider and you will be able to play with it on your device. Uh, so you can store, I believe, 30 at a time and download them to your device, but I'm not going to be showing you that due to copyright issues and infringements if I had to uh, show up or do an uploaded song. Uh, so there is four preset ones in the application, and we'll be playing one of those today, but up at the top here you have Download, Free Music, My Music, and Refresh, and that will pretty much be how you'll be able to get your own music onto the application. Down at the bottom you have Level 1, 2, three, four, five, six, and as you see the difficulty will increase every time that you go up. We'll just play on two. Uh, so that's going to be the difficulty, but you can play on level six difficulty at a very slow pace. So that's what's cool about this is you can choose the difficulty and you can choose the note speed at how fast it will actually come. So it doesn't matter, that's what she said, it doesn't matter um, what difficulty you're playing on compared to the speed. It's going to be difficulty as a side and then you also have to choose your speed. So that's definitely a nice feature. You can completely customize how the notes will be coming at you. Um, so you can go to skin, there's three different options. This is from a new update. They do have landscape mode, which is what I'm playing in, portrait and classic, which will be in the two vertical types. Go back, there is ranking, and there's going to be country leaderboards and personal leaderboards, and you can refresh those. Uh, so that'll be kind of like your online leaderboards. Go back to play, and I will actually show you guys a song. We'll play run and run. And now it's downloading it. It only takes a few seconds to actually download each song. Or what appears to be actually quite a while this time. Wow, it usually doesn't take this long to actually download. As you see up here, there's your uh, status bar for downloading. Maybe I'm far out of my Wi-Fi. Uh, but when you actually do upload your own songs, it will show you the title, artist, and album. Uh, right now, you probably don't care about those because it's preset. But when you upload your own songs, you will be able to have all that selection in your own library included on your device and on the application. So we're playing in portrait mode, so let's move it a little bit sideways. Start. Now it's loading, so it had to download and now it has to load. Man, this is taking a little bit long. Oh, there we go. So here we go, this is our Guitar Hero looking environment. Cool thing about this is that it has a few different uh, note hits that you actually have to do different from Guitar Hero or Tap Tap Revenge. And those are going to be where you actually have to drag your fingers up and down the so-called frets um, going in any type of pattern that it tell you. So it might tell me to keep my finger on the screen and drag from blue to green to red, which is definitely nice. I'll try and get to one of those, but I'm not sure how long it'll actually take to get to. There's the hold, the classic hold as you've seen in Guitar Hero and all those other apps or games. There's a drag right there. There's a little short drag, but that's what I was trying to show you. And you can have any combination of drags, and those definitely keep the app fresh and interesting. So, uh, I'm trying to go back to the main menu. I don't know how. I've done it before. There we go. Click the frets. And we're going to show you. You can change the note speed actually midway through a game, but we're going to go back, and I'm going to try and show you guys... Ah, crud. Go back, and I'm going to show you guys um, the difficulty. So we'll do a really, really difficult difficulty. Alright, so this is going to take a little bit to load. I will just try and fast forward to this. Alrighty, and now we're going into start, and this is going to be on the highest difficulty. Not the highest speed, but the highest difficulty in the game. And there's absolutely no way that I will be able to pass this, because I suck at the highest difficulty. So there's all the drags that I was talking about, and 
I'm probably going to fail pretty soon. Surprisingly, I held up a lot better than I expected. But anyway, that's going to be the entire application. As you see, it will be able to keep fresh and interesting to all the players because there are some high difficulties and definitely uh, some quick speeds that you can choose from. So that's going to be called Beat Rider. That's the paid one. There is a light one. I do recommend to go check out the light one because the uh, controls for it can be kind of iffy and you can get used to it for free. So that's all I have for this review. Snood, Doodle Flight, Jailbreaker Keys, and Beat Rider. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. Remember to stay subscribed because I do have a lot of promo codes for Jailbreaker Keys. Hopefully you enjoyed this review. I will talk to you later.